I got a question for you guys. You guys ever feel stressed? Like you just want to take the edge off? Like you just want to sit back, get in your zone, and just say, fuck it. Maybe even take a little... <laughs> nah, let me stop playing, man. Today we're going to be talking about Breaking Bad. But not only Breaking Bad, my homie Walter White. Because I'm not going to lie, Walter White is one of the craziest characters that I think I've ever witnessed. And I know I say that a lot about a lot of characters. But just seeing how Walter goes from this normal, mild-mannered guy to becoming Heisenberg. Now, Walter is your average Joe. He's a science professor, and he also has a family consisting of his wife, his son, and unborn child. Now, on top of this, Walter is hit with some unfortunate news, and that is the fact that he's diagnosed with lung cancer. Now, this puts immense pressure on Walter, seeing how he's the man of the house, and he feels like he has to provide for his family no matter what. And so he feels like if he was to leave now, if he was to check out early, he wouldn't have anything really to leave behind. And so at his birthday party, we can see Walter's brother-in-law, Hank. He's showing everybody this drug ring that he and his crew took down on the television. And Walter is intrigued by just how much money is being accumulated by these drugs. And so this is where Walter gets his big brained idea to start cooking meth. Now he can't do this on his own. And this is the point where we run into Walter's former student, Jesse Pinkman. Now, Jesse isn't the smartest guy in the box. He's not the sharpest tool in the shed. However, Jesse knows all about the drug game and that's exactly what Walter needs. And so with Walter being the brains of this operation and with Jesse being the man on the streets, the two find a location to begin their cooking. And Jesse is just amazed and astonished by just how pure this product turned out to be. This is glass grade. Jesus, you got crystals in here two inches, three inches long. This is pure glass. This, this is art, Mr. White. Actually, it's just basic chemistry. <laughs> And so now the two need to find a distributor, seeing how Jesse's old partner got busted by the DEA earlier this episode. And so Jesse goes to a guy named Crazy 8. He's showing him this product, but Crazy 8 has known Jesse long enough to know that he couldn't have possibly cooked this all by himself. And so Crazy 8 and his cousin Emilio take Jesse back to where he and Walter were cooking at. And just as Emilio is getting out of the car, Emilio recognizes Walter from being with the DEA when he got busted earlier. And so just as Crazy 8 and Emilio are about to kill Jesse and Walter, Walter offers up his own recipe in exchange for he and Jesse's life. And so just as Walter is getting everything together and getting ready to show these two exactly how to cook that hard rock. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey. hey. Walter dumps in this crazy red powder, causing a big explosion and trapping the two inside of the RV, causing them both to get knocked out. Now, Walter tells Jesse that the two of them should be dead because of the gas that he created. However, Jesse tells him that he can still hear one of them moving inside. And so now Walter is tasked with finishing the job with Crazy 8. And you may wonder how he went about doing this. Well... And now Jesse is also tasked with taking care of the other body. And you may wonder how that went. And so now with Crazy 8 and Emilio out of the picture, the two need to find a new distributor. But we're going to take a pause on this for a moment as we see the two agree to go their separate ways for a while. And so now we see Walter and his wife, Skylar, celebrating the birthday of Walter's former business partner, Elliot. Now, Elliot owns the company Gray Matter Technologies, and that may not seem like much at first until you realize that it winds up becoming a multi-million dollar company. And so the reason why I'm bringing that up is because Walter was a part of this company as well. He was Elliot's co-founder. However, he had a falling out with Elliot's new co-owner, Gretchen. Now, we're going to put a pin in that for a moment. But here we see Walter and Elliot having a conversation, kind of catching up on things and seeing exactly how each other have been doing. And Elliot opens up about how he would love to have Walter back at Grey Matter Technologies. He would love to have someone with Walter's intelligence and intellect to be back with the company. And when Walter first declines, he comes straight out and mentions that they have great health insurance, hinting at the fact that he knows about Walter's cancer. 
you know, Sigma, Alpha Male, Chad, Walter, he ain't going for none of that charity work. And so he straight up declines Elliot's offer and leaves the party. And Skylar is not happy about this. And so she sets up an intervention because she feels like Walter has been sneaking around being very secretive and and she wants to get to the bottom of this and so she gives everybody a chance to go around and express exactly how they've been feeling lately and they tell them exactly how they feel you're a pussy on the other side of things we see jesse trying to find his way now that walter has quote unquote left the drug game and so now jesse's trying to find his own way trying to apply for a job and everything however when he runs into one of his old friends he convinces him that if jesse could just remember the recipe they could just cook the meth themselves and make their own money without walter and so jesse and his friend badger begin cooking but now that Jesse has a taste and a feel of exactly what pure product looks like, he's not going to go for anything less. And so when they're finished with this batch and he can see that it's very cloudy and not clear, he goes to try to throw out the entire batch. It's at this moment where we can see Badger just start straight tweaking out. I'm not going to lie. And to be honest, if it was me, I would have just gave Badger the batch. I'm not going to lie. If you're going to just throw it out, you could have just gave it to him for free. You know, gave him a little bit of that, ugh, that mid pack. But that's besides the point. That's neither here or there. When we check back up with Walter, we can see him telling Skylar that he's going to wind up taking the chemotherapy. He's going to get the cancer treatment just to try to ease everybody's mind and make her feel better about herself. But now Walter is going to need some money to pay for this treatment since he declined Gretchen and Elliot's offer. And he agrees with Jesse to begin cooking again. But because of this chemotherapy, it's really messing with Walter and he's unable to finish this batch, leaving Jesse to finish it all by himself. On top of this, Jesse mentions how there's a new distributor in town by the name of Tuco, but Jesse isn't really comfortable approaching Tuco with a pound of meth, especially with the fact that Tuco doesn't even know him. But Walter, he's not going for none of that. He told Jesse straight up, just throw some fucking balls, prick. And Jesse puts on his big boy pants and he and his homie Skinny Pete roll up on Tuco's place to try and get a deal going. But we're going to pause on that for a moment and let's talk about Walter's brother-in-law and DEA agent Hank. Sit down! Sit your ass down, Caprone! Chick's got an ass like an onion. Makes me want to cry. Really, nigga? Hank and his partner Gomez meet up. Gomez is handing over some evidence that they found at the desert and Hank recognizes that this is from Walter's high school. And so he goes to take a visit to Walter, chopping it up, and he gets straight to the point and asks Walter if he recognizes this face mask. Now, I'm not going to lie, if I'm Walter, I would be shitting my dungarees. I am not going to lie. But Walter plays it cool, says he hasn't seen it before, which is kind of a dumb thing because, dude, you work with this stuff, but whatever, whatever. And so Hank asks to go check his inventory, and he recognizes that there are a multitude of things missing. And the whole time, he doesn't even know or doesn't even think that the person he's looking for is right in front of him. But let's turn our attention back to Skinny Pete as we follow the two into Tuco's hideout. And Jesse is trying to start up a deal with Tuco. And honestly, everything seems like it's going good at first, you know. Tuco is loving the product. It seems like he's getting the money ready. But just when you least expect it. He started beating Jesse's ass like he just brought home a bad report card. I mean, he beat Jesse so bad that he wind up going to the hospital. And when Walter finds out about this, he knows that it's time to make a change. And after Walter gathers up information about Tuco, he goes to pay him a visit. And immediately, he demands 50000 from Tuco. He wants 35000 for the meth that he stole from Jesse. And he also wants another 15000 just for Jesse's pain and suffering, you know, because that's what Walter does. He's an upstanding guy. And once Tuco tries to deny this offer, Walter shuts that shit down all the way. Now, luckily, this wasn't fatal as it kind of just dazed everybody, definitely got everybody shooken up. 
And so Tuco wisens up and he gives Walter's money and hands it to him with no hesitation and tells Walter to bring in another pound next week. And just like that, Walter walks out of there like a straight boss, a top G. And now there's only one last thing to do to celebrate. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one, man. This is just part one. If you guys enjoyed this, man, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And tell me in the comments down below exactly what you enjoyed about this. And if you guys want to see more and have any other suggestions about shows that I should watch or tap into, leave them in the comments down below. I would love to see you guys' thoughts. And I'll catch you all in the next one, man. Peace.